also as I walk down to play at MGM tonight, I have some uh, very interesting math claims. Some insanely wrong things people have said that, you know, a slightly below average first grader could understand made absolutely no sense. So, first one. And this is the uh, Baltimore edition. These things happen all the time. Right now I'll give you the uh, Baltimore 2020 edition. But let me stop for a second so I don't trip and kill myself. First one. $14 raise pre-flop. Five people put money in. So the pot is about $70. You know, blinds and rake aside, about $70. The guy who bets the flop bets $64, which we actually see usually very small bets. Like the bets are not in relation to the pot. They're just kind of like, oh, it was 14, now I'm gonna bet like 15 or 20. The guy bet 64 into a pot of about 70, and everyone folded. And his friend at the table said, man, why'd you bet so big? You bet 64 into a pot of like 18. So, I mean, the pot was about 70, but you know, 18's not that far off. I mean, he didn't say 500. Uh, one floor down, uh, next one. It was 26 to go pre-flop, a guy put in the 26. It was 30 to go on the flop, a guy put in the 30. Um, there was a turn bet, the guy folded the turn. So 26 plus 30, 56. He lost $56 that hand. He got mad at the dealer for one because the dealer put out the turn card he didn't like. And he says to the dealer, man, why'd you have to put that turn card out? You just cost me $80. Yeah, he thought he put in 80, not 56. I guess he missed that day in first grade. This is a nice view with the monorail right behind me. I take the monorail all the time. So this guy had a flush draw and he missed. And you know, he shows us, he folds on the river and he says to us, you know, statistically that flush should have hit. I guess in his world, flushes hit every single time, no matter what. That's the closest I could figure out to what he meant. Just, it's just supposed to hit every single time or whenever he feels like it, which I guess would also be every single time. Uh, not, not a 100% uh, clip that the flush draw has come in on, but that was an interesting one. This was after a former Texas Tech great, Pat Mahomes, signed his huge contract with the Chiefs. So it was about 50 million a year. So me and this guy were talking about it and you know, if you want to talk about it per week, it's not that tough to calculate because there's about 50 weeks in a year, 52 in a day, whatever. So just, you know, pretend there's 50 weeks in the year, divide 50 million by 50, and he makes about a million dollars a week. So this guy says, man, that contract's so big. It's like, it's like, and I'm waiting for him to come to the conclusion that it's about a million dollars per week. He goes, it's like $100,000 per week. He was pretty far off. Only, you know, $900,000 off per week. And I made it without killing myself, so that concludes a successful first edition of Math on the Stairs.